Danielle. I'm Alex. And we are parents of identical twin girls. So the journey to get through IVF, uh, it was a month of injections. Um, a lot of testing. Uh, we were really lucky and were quite successful the first um, cycle of IVF. So we didn't have to do multiple cycles like everyone else, thank goodness. So yeah, just lots of ovulation tests, lots of pregnancy tests. I ended up with HG. So I was really quite sick um, for the first 23 weeks of my pregnancy. Then after that, um, I had to have a special ultrasound up at the Mater Mother's Hospital in which, um, yeah, my cervix was open. So I was admitted to hospital. So I had, uh, I think, a seven week stay in hospital, just kind of waiting for things to happen. And then they decided at 30 weeks and five days to come early. It was quite scary. Uh, having a c-section. Ren was born in her sack so then they cut her out of the sack. Uh, Ren had to be put on oxygen. She needed a little bit of help breathing because of the general anaesthetic um, and then they both ended up on the CPAP machine for about a week and a half. I think it was eight days of life they were transferred back to Toowoomba. Mainly it was just once we got to Toowoomba just working with them every day to make sure that they were feeding. Uh, we had a few more tests obviously so I think we had, Ren had a hip ultrasound, they've had a couple of eye tests to make sure that their retinas are formed properly. The staff at the Toowoomba Hospital were honestly so amazing. Uh, being that we spent 10 weeks nearly in hospital, it's horrible being away from home. Not to mention after you have just given birth, like you just want to be at home in your own space. The staff are so helpful, I've had a lot of people ask me or both of us if we are doing okay. Um, but I felt like we got so much help from the, the staff at the neonatal unit in Toowoomba that it's kind of been easy since we've gotten home. I feel like they've given us so much knowledge. Like, yeah, I couldn't have asked for a better team of people to help look after the, the girls. And it was like they had made a, a bond with the girls themselves, which was actually really nice to see. Having Ivy and Wren um, has dramatically changed our lives. I can honestly say I have always wanted to be a mum. Now that we've got them, it's like, I can't even describe how happy it makes us. Like, I've, I've never felt so whole. I have I couldn't ask for anything better to in the world. Like I love these two girls with all my heart and my beautiful wife and I couldn't be any happier. I think the community should get behind the Toowoomba Hospital Christmas Appeal because the neonatal unit is in much need of a facelift. It is so tiny in there. It's crazy to watch all those nurses running around. I think they deserve it themselves as well. Like they're working so hard in there. A, a bigger and, and better space would just be so great and it would just be nice to have families closer to their homes rather than having to be sent away. It would just be so nice to, to see it just have a little bit of an update. Most parents will expect that their babies will be well at birth. There are a certain amount of babies that will be born prematurely or they may be sick at birth and they need specialised care and so that's where we come in. A typical day in the neonatal unit will start with a certain amount of babies. The nurses will have maybe three or four babies that they care for during the day and it will depend on how sick that baby is, what kind of care they give that little one. So that baby might need um, a monitor or it need, uh, might need help with breathing. Uh, it might need some IV fluids and there might also be um, help with breastfeeding or the baby might need nasogastric feeds. Uh, at any stage during the day we might get an emergency admission or we might need to go to a delivery that needs our assistance. What we would like to do with our unit is to rearrange the space 
we're trying to make it a more family friendly area so more bed space and a better workflow within the unit as well. The Toowoomba Hospital Foundation has always been a great supporter of the neonatal unit and we really appreciate that they help us to get extra equipment and be able to do some great things for our unit. Yeah.